Hi there, it's Mr. Smith, and in this syllabus video, I'll be going over our course syllabus. All right, let's get started. Um, so first of all, this is contemporary math, math 1332. Um, generally, we get back on emails or any kind of correspondence within 24 hours, especially in a summer class. I'm really try to get back as quickly as I can. The weekends can be tough sometimes, but for the most part I'm pretty good about getting back to students. And if for some reason more than 24 hours pass, please contact me again. Say, Mr. Smith, did you get my first email? And I will make sure that I get back to you, but normally it's going to be pretty quick. So my name is Scott Smith. Notice there's only one T in my name. So my nickname is actually 1T. You can call me Mr. Smith or 1T. Some people call me Mr. Scott. I'm pretty flexible. This is my email. It's scottsmith at dallascollege.edu. Again, notice Scott is with 1T. Um, you can reach me at 972-677-8940. If you want to have a conversation, that's the number I would recommend that you call as opposed to doing an email. Um, texting will work, but email is generally going to get to me a little quicker for some reason. Um, this is an internet course, and so office hours will be held online, and they're going to be by appointment. So please don't hesitate to contact me. Send me an email, and we can set up a time if you would like to get some uh, help. Um, Again, these are going to be by appointment. Uh, let's see. So if you need to get a hold of the division office, there's their information. Let's go down to the course information. So again, this is contemporary math, math 1332. There's actually two sections that I'm teaching there. So you, you're in one of those two. This is summer 2024. Um, notice the certification date is June 6th. There's actually an assignment that's due on June 5th in order to be certified as attending the course. That's basically how you show that you're participating, attending. So it'll be very important when we get to that um, that you're completing those assignments uh, really by the 5th. Um, I do have a little flexibility, but I have to turn in the certification on Thursday. So we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Um, if for some reason you end up having to withdraw from this course, Thursday, June 20, uh, 20th is the last day to do that. I would hope that you'd talk to me. There may be financial, um, the financial office or other offices that you may want to talk to before you do that just want to make sure that you do things the right way. You don't want to find yourself on probation a few years later. Sometimes students just disappear and they come back and that's exactly what happens. So don't be that guy, don't be that person that, that does that because then you know you never know what the, whole, the future holds. So try to do things the right way, especially when it comes to things like withdrawing. All right, um, you should be college ready to be in this course. Let's move on to the next page. So there's a course description. You can read that and also learning outcomes if you're interested. Those are there. In every syllabus you should also see Texas core objectives. Things like critical thinking, um, communication. These are things that are important to us as a college and we hope that when you leave you'll be better in these areas. Um, let's go ahead and, but again, you can look at those on your own. Required course materials. So basically, the way it works these days is when you sign up for your courses, <coughs> the materials or the main materials that you need will be supplied with the course. In this case, basically, we have a textbook that is Oh, you know what? I need to change this. This is actually the 8th edition. I have not changed that. Uh, we just changed to a new edition. But anyway, it's the 8th edition. This number here won't be right. 
If for some reason you need that, let me know. But it automatically comes with the course when you sign into my math lab or my lab math. Um, you know, it's already included in uh, when you signed up. Now, if you chose not to p participate in the Include Ed program, which is what links those two together, your resources with your course, then um, things are different. There is no advantage to not being part of this program, so please let me know if, if for some reason you don't want to be a part of it. Uh, you do not want to opt out. It will lead to problems. And you literally can't beat the price that we have at Dallas College. Um, I've been told we're the least expensive uh, among the all colleges in the country. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to be using software called MyLab Math. Now, a lot of times I'll call it My Math Lab because that's its old name. It's an online textbook-based software where you will complete assignments. In fact, everything's going to be done online in My Math Lab. Um, students must have access to a computer with internet access to complete the work. If you, you know, you need to have a lot of access to a computer, and um, and you've got to be able to download the programs that you need. Most of the time, computers have everything you need, um, but we'll get more into that if you watch the My Lab Math video. Um, it talks about running the. Um, Oh, and I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's the first link at the top when you first go into my math lab. It's the browser check. Okay, and to register, really, you don't register. You'll just click on a my Ma my lab math link, and it'll tell you what it wants you to like to agree to their, you know, their um, statement. And once you do that, then you won't have to do that in the future. Now, the one thing that's not included as part of your uh, payment for the course is a calculator. So the one I'll be using in class and the one that I highly recommend is the TI-30XS MultiView Calculator. Now, some of you may have a very good calculator that you're very good with. It's really The test is really going to be in section or chapter 8 where we do financial formulas and you literally have complex fractions where you have fractions within fractions and this calculator handles those really great. So you can do it on other calculators but that's what really makes this calculator stand out. It literally improved students grades when we went from an older calculator to this one here. So highly recommend this calculator. Alright for graded work 15% of your grade is homework, 10% is quizzes, and you have five tests that make up 75% of your grade. Whoops, let me pull that down. So 75% of your grade is the test. Um, these are the standard letter grades based on your percent. So 90 to 100% is A and so on, just as you're used to, I would say, I would guess. All right, let's move on to the next page. So this is where I think you're going to really want to pay attention here. So homework's going to be assigned in my lab math to practice the material that's learned in each section of the textbook. A great feature of my lab math is that you get immediate feedback for each problem. You get a wrong answer, you're going to have access to an, a solution um, on the other hand, in order to learn the material well, I highly recommend that you work out all your homework on paper in some kind of a notebook. Especially, you know, like when you're ready to take a quiz, you can look back at the last three sections. For, you know, maybe it covers three sections and kind of review. As you're doing your homework, you may want to take some notes, make some, some notes. And, you know, or things that you have questions about. And those are the kinds of things you look over before you take your quiz or when you take your test. Um, quizzes, um, you'll have up to two chances to take each quiz. And basically, again, they're, um, they cover usually about three sections. 
and really they give you a good idea of whether or not you're learning the material. If you're bombing the quizzes, that's a warning that you've got more work to do before you take the test. And by the way, if you ever want more than two chances, just send me an email. Um, hopefully two will be enough, but I'm willing to give you more opportunity if you would like. So those are 10% of your grade. Notice they are timed. Um, the tests, you're going to have five tests worth 100 points each. Um, notice you will be taking your tests online and they're going to be proctored using the lockdown browser and respondus monitor in my math lab. In other words, we want to hold you accountable for doing your own work. And so that's how we do that. You will need a webcam. Um, if for some reason you're not able to run the program, then you do have the option to take your test at one of our seven colleges. Uh, and so I can just got to let me know and I can arrange for, for that to happen. Um, I'm going to have a video and I'm going to have an assignment before you take test one that, that goes through how you use this program. So when we get to that point, uh, you, you'll have that, and, and I've been told it's, it's pretty helpful. Okay, so finally, one thing really important here, notice if you have an average of 80% or better on your homework, I will drop your lowest test at the end of the course, but all students do need to take test five in that last week. All right, let's go on to the late policy. So basically, if you're late, uh, there's a 25% penalty for homework or quizzes. No late homework or quizzes will be accepted after Sunday, June 30th. And so, honestly, for each test, you want to get all those assignments done before you take the test. However, you can't go back and get credit later. I just find that generally students who don't get those assignments done before the test don't tend to do so well in the course. Um, normally you're not going to be allowed to take a test after the due date. If something comes up, something, some kind of emergency or something, you should contact me immediately and then I can work with you. Um, so communication is really important, especially in a five-week course and certainly in a math course. Um, each week I'm going to make an announcement in eCampus to remind you what is due during the week and to make any important announcements. You should receive an email when these announcements are made. Please make sure that your email address in eConnect is correct so that you will receive the announcements. And, and as it is now, everybody is using the same format. It's E and I think it's seven digits. Um, so you want to make sure you're using that email. And you've got to make sure you're checking your email on a regular basis. Um, I've got mine connected to my phone, so that's what I would recommend that you do. You can always call the IT people if you're not sure how to do that, or just get on YouTube, and I'm sure there's a video for that. Um, let's see, the course schedule is also included at the end of the syllabus, and you'll see the due dates for the assignments when you work in my math lab. So I'll give you a reminder each week. The due dates are on the calendar. They're, they're generally on Sunday. Now the last week, our course ends on Friday, so you need to be prepared to get everything done on Friday at the latest that last week. Um, we talked about how to reach me if you need to contact me. Again, any problems, any questions, please contact me. Um, one more thing here before we get into the schedule. To be certified as attending this course, students must complete the Chapter 1 assignments through Quiz 1 by Wednesday, June 5th. That's only the third day into our course. By the way, you'll be able to start the course as soon as you get in. Um, it's going to be Friday morning, the, the week before classes start, that you can start working on assignments, or late Thursday night. Um, but you do need to do that with an average score of 70%.
And remember what I said before, I recommend 80% because that's what's going to allow you to drop your lowest test score at the end of the course. Um, for students receiving financial aid, if you're not certified as attending, this is likely to affect your financial aid. So it's very important that you get off to a good start. You've got three days to get those four assignments done, three homework assignments and quiz one. So make sure you take care of business there. So I just want to mention institutional policies. Um, if you haven't seen those before, uh, things like tutoring, disability services, and just general procedures and policies, um, you should look those over. Oops, hold on a sec. There we go. Let's go to the calendar. So last thing, I think this is pretty clear. So notice it's very important <laughs> that you follow the course schedule closely and complete all assignments by the due dates. If you want to be successful in this course, stay on schedule. Notice everything that's due by June 5th. That's the third day of class. Again, I talk about what it takes to be certified. Notice by June 9th, which is on Sunday, everything needs to be completed for the first test. So basically, each week you'll have a test. There's five weeks for the course, and you have five tests. And you can see exactly what you need to get done each week. All right, so I think that's everything I have to say. Again, if you have any questions, please contact me. And I really hope you have a great session and a very successful session. That's all I have for you guys. Oops, let's, where is, there it is.